today on Be Something Wonderful. Let go of everything except this. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Yesterday, I had a great session with a client and she was saying, Tom, I'm just exhausted from creating and manifesting. I'm, I'm exhausted from trying to get the processes just right. And I'm exhausted from ignoring, trying to ignore 3D reality. And I'm exhausted from trying to be happy all the time. So guys, here, I've talked about this before in many different ways, but today we're gonna to talk about it like we never have before. I just wanna say that it's not so much about creating and manifesting anything. As I've talked about, it's about tuning in to that part of all that is, tuning in to that greater part of you that you wanna experience right now. It's about letting go of everything else except your inner authority to be, do, or have whatever your heart desires. You're in authority as a creator. Let's hit it. So it's not so much about creating and manifesting. It's about tuning into and perceiving that aspect of infinity or all that is or all that you are that you desire to experience now. All possibilities exist right now. What aspect of that multidimensional you do you choose to call forth right now? There was one of you that commented on a video that saw, I think a previous video, right? Where I was saying, assume it and call it forth. And you did that and manifested immediately. This is a comment that I just read on the channel, I think last night or this morning. This is what we're talking about. It, it, remember, this is the concept of yourself. This is a state of being that you're calling forth. It's within you. Which reality, and they're infinite in number, do you choose and intend to focus your attention on now? Which do you choose to withdraw your light from? It's only really one, two choices. One, what are you gonna focus on? And two, what are you, or one, what are you gonna withdraw your light from? What reality are you no longer gonna choose? And choose the reality that you want. When it's automatic. When you put your light on that new reality, you withdraw your attention and your light from the one that you no longer desire, that you would now consider unwanted. But remember, guys, you wanted it at one point or you wouldn't be seeing it and perceiving it, right? So let's hit this. It's not about doing processes all the time or getting the techniques right. It's not about keeping an unbroken connection to, to your desire or what you want. It's about keep, keeping an unbroken connection to fulfillment, to that state within. It's not about feeling happy all the time. It's not about thinking of your desire all the time. It's not, about, it's not about ignoring 3D reality and conditions. Then Tom, you're saying, then what is it? What is it about? It's a reality creation. What's it about? It's about making your inner world heaven on earth. Hear this, your inner world, heaven on earth, right? In other words, reflecting, letting that inner state within reflect what you really want to see without or in the 3D world. It's about be, becoming conscious and aware of your inner authority and freedom to create your unique layer of your world. It's about choosing with God, not not choosing with God, not without God, not focusing on desires that you want, but, but doing it without that inner being, without that alignment. Hear this. So your inner being, your higher self, feels and knows the truth of who you really are. That's your inner authority. Some of you are going, what is my inner authority? That's your inner authority. Your inner being knows. You connect, align, and tune into this inner power by moving your attention, intention, attention and focus on your heart's desire. What I've been talking about the last week or so, right? It's moving all of that, aligning, tuning into that, right? What you choose to be, do, or have from a place of love and not lack. That's the difference. I think one of you decide, how do I know if it's my heart's desire from an ego desire? Look, <clears throat> you know what you're choosing when you, if it, you're choosing it from a, a state of lack, a state of need, a state of scarcity, or is it a state of love, a state of wholeness, a state of fulfillment? That's how you know. When you feel and know this truth, the 3D world, in reality, mirror or consolidate around your new state of being, 
or your dwelling place. Hear this. When you know this truth of who you are, the 3D world and reality mirror the, and consolidate around your new state of being, your dwelling place. You prepare your place by focusing on your heart's desire. Just like scripture says, I go and prepare a place for you. That's what you do with your inner being. <clears throat> so, anxiety and the feeling of being overwhelmed and exhausted, which I've talked about yesterday with a client in a session. What does that come from? What's happening here? Well, here's what's going on, right? You're focused on what to do to make it happen versus focusing on your desired end, being in that end. You're believing you have to make something happen or you're believing it's too hard or too difficult or too impossible. Too impossible, you like that one, right? Believing you're not good enough, smart enough, worthy enough. These are what keeps you overwhelmed in anxiety in a state of overwhelmment, a state of exhaustion, a state of anxiety, right? You believe you have to make something or, or force things. You're believing that it's too hard or it's too difficult or it's impossible. You're believing you're not good enough, you're smart enough or worthy enough, right? All of those, that fear of failure of not getting what you want or ending up with what you don't want. And we talked about this. Just let that fear be there. Stop trying to get out of the labyrinth of insecurity, the labyrinth of fear. The walls will crumble when you stop fighting it, right? Leave it there. They're all built on the walls of artificial or excessive importance. We talked about dropping importance, but I really want to get to that today, what that really means, right? It's, it, it really what it does mean is it means it's not trusting in your inner authority and your natural ability and divinity to bring you what you want. That's what importance is. You have importance on something. Importance doesn't mean it's not important. It means you're placing importance on it, fearing you're not gonna get it. Do you hear the difference, right? You're not trusting in your inner authority, your natural ability, and your divinity. I wanna hit this a little bit more. High importance puts your desires in the 3D world in a death grip. It puts it all on a pedestal, right? It, it exhausts your energy of intention and disconnects you from your inner magic or your inner authority. You just get exhausted, right? You can't intend anything anymore. It's not, dropping importance doesn't mean it's not important. It means, it means choosing and intending from love what you wanna be, do, or have. That's what that means. And moving with your inner authority and higher self to fulfillment in 3D. That way you don't have artificial importance on it. It's what's real. Let the walls of importance crumble and collapse under their own weight. Wow, that's big. That's what happens when you drop importance, right? So here's the, the labyrinth. <laughs> You're trapped here. You can't get out. There's never a way out of those mazes, right? There's never an exit. There's no exit from that right? You feel trapped by the walls of important. In, in the inner importance of fear of failure or that I'm not good enough, of guilt, unworthiness, and security. The out, or the outer importance of feeling it, that it's intimidating or feels impossible. Both of these is what you normally feel, right? So what's the secret, as Vadim Seeland says, the secret from reality transurfing, the secret to the labyrinth is that the walls crumble when you give up looking for an exit and drop importance. In other words, when you give up looking for security to be secure, when you look up trying to not be, trying to get rid of guilt, when you look, when you, when you give up, try, give up your search for worthiness and just standing in the fundamental truth that you're worthy already that you are secure, that you are love, right? The more you seek to, secure, to be secure or to be confident or to be worthy or to be guiltless, hear this, the more insecure, the more shaky, the more unworthy and the more guilty you feel. This really comes from the, the teachings of Alan Watts when he talks about the backwards law and Mark Manson touches on it in, in The Art of Not Giving an F. All of those, the more you try to seek these things, the more you try to hold on to it and find security and find worthiness and, find, and feel not guilty, the more you try to find solutions, the more you try to justify yourself, the more you defend your, to try to defend yourself and all those limiting beliefs, the guiltier you feel, the more insecure you feel, the more unworthy. Just move to the fundamental truth that you are who you, more than that, that you are not guilty, that you are worthy, that you are secure beyond, beyond this world, 
right? That's what we're talking about here. So when you stop trying to justify, improve, and fix yourself and simply move to the already improved you, the real you, the world will reflect that. The reality mirror will agree with you. Try it. Stop defending and justifying yourself. Quietly, as Vadim Seeland says, quietly get up and walk out of the courtroom where you're the prosecutor, where you're the judge, where you're the jury, where you're the defendant. You're all of those things. The walls of importance grow taller as you struggle, as you fight, as you demand, as you insist, as you complain, and as you criticize. All of that, right? Dropping importance means dropping that resistance, dropping it all. Here's the paradox. You acquire everything when you let go of wanting and needing to have it. You acquire security when you let go of needing it and wanting it and searching for it. You acquire worthiness when you let go of, of, of searching for it or trying to get it. You get it all, guys. Trying to get rid of unworthiness, insecurity, guilt, doubt, fear only makes the feeling of them bigger. Trying to believe only creates more doubt. Hold on to nothing, as A Course in Miracles says. Stand in the fundamental truth of who you are, of that inner authority. So, with awareness of your freedom to intend and choose, resting in your inner authority, the only true fulfillment, the struggle to get what you want and desire, like things, love, security, confidence, worthiness, cars, trucks, dollars, whatever it is, makes no sense. Do you hear this? With the awareness of your freedom as a creator to intend and choose whatever you want, Resting in that inner authority, or the only true fulfillment, the struggle to get at what you want, desire, to struggle to get anything, whether it's things or people or love or security or confidence or worthiness, makes no sense. You are, when you're doing that, when you're seeking those things, you're controlled by the strings of importance. You're like a puppet. Now you're controlled by that. When you have the illusion of confidence and, and, and the illusion of worthiness, right? But when the strings are loosened, you're all over the place, right? You're like a puppet. When the strings get loose, when you, you now you're just flipping and flopping and you get, and you're not, you can't walk on your own. You need that artificial importance from the 3D world that they think you're okay, that they give you your confidence. They give you your worthiness. Not even they, the things and people, everything, right? You're looking outside yourself for the fundamental truth of who you are. When the strings are loose, you start to struggle feeling fearful and insecure. So then you try to tighten the strings by looking for approval, looking for support from others in the 3D world, looking through the 3D world for who you are, right? You believe you can't choose your own path or film role and walk without help. Do you hear this? You're looking to others in the 3D world for all of that. Then you'd be like a puppet on a string. So. Let go of the strings of importance and accept as a fundamental truth your inner authority and light as a creator. Let it go and then you're going to start walking on your own. You're going to find out that you could walk on your own all along. That you didn't need anybody or the 3D world to prop you up. Right? To prop you up in the strings of importance. This, so unworthiness is, is no longer an issue. Insecurity, guilt, failure, they no longer make sense when you let go of the struggle, the strings, you discover you can walk freely by choosing and intending what you want or desire without the need and struggle to have it or be it. You can just focus on your desired end and go there. Try this. Take pleasure in imagining and choosing your desired end. Let go of the importance. Let go of the struggle. Let go of trying to get things right. You're, you're a creator. Right? God, you are an aspect of God. You're creating God's image. You don't have to, you always get it right. Right? Hold on to nothing but your focus on your desired end. Hold on to nothing. Right? See every condition and vent as part of your desired end. Right? Remember, it's, it's not an unbroken connection to your desire. It's the desired end, the fulfillment of it, that feeling that what you really want is yours. Give thanks and gratitude to that higher power, right? See, every condition event is part of that desired end and give gratitude. That's how you do it. That's how you let go of everything except this, except the, the, the commitment to your desired end. 
accept the fundamental truth of your inner authority as a, as a creator. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. You can follow us there and join the group. It's, open, it's an open group at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. We have a page called Be Something Wonderful at Be Something Wonderful. And our Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen or our website anytime at TomKaren.com or be something wonderful.com. With great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, creators, see you soon.